Let's divide this dx into four equal parts using compass. From using point A, first part. Second part, and third, and fourth. Let's take this name sir, A1, A2, A3, and A4. We have divided this Bx. Bx is the ray. This ray is divided into four equal parts. A1, A and A1, A1, A2, A2, A3, and A3, A4 are four equal parts in which we have divided X. So X is a ray, we have divided it. So now it's given that 3 by 4 parts, 3 by 4 equal parts, we need to make. So total parts are 4. Among this, we have to take, we need to take 3 parts, should be divided from out of 4. So let's take this 4 parts and join with B. Let's join A4 and B. A4 is the point here and we are dividing, we are joining with B. So A4, B is joined together the line segment. We have joined A4 and B here. A4 and B is joined. So now we need to find out, we need to take around four, three parts should be divided separately. So for that, let's draw a parallel line for B A4. That's nothing but A4 B. So to draw a parallel line for this, let's use that square. And the scale is nothing but ruler. We have taken a ruler on A4, B, the side of A4, B on it. We have taken on it. And just let's take this set square below of the ruler and just move this scale towards the A3. So we move. Towards A3, so we got here the point is A3. After A4, this is A3. So from A3, just draw a line which is intersecting AB. What we have done is I have taken the ruler on A4B, and then after I using the set square, just we have drawn a parallel line to the A4B. We have drawn a panel line for A4, B and then this is A3 and uh, we name it as just take it as uh, B dash it's a B dash so we have taken as a B dash there so A3, B dash is nothing but the panel line for A4, B the panel line A a3 B dash is nothing but parallel line for A4 B. So now let's take let's extend it an acute angle. Let's draw an acute angle from point A. How we have taken for AB on the upside of it. Now let's take an either side of it. We are going to draw an acute triangle for AB. So this is an acute angle. Acute angle BAY. Let's take that. Or we can take it as some other letter also. This is Y, it's a ray. So now, for this, using B, using 
the point B. Let's take some radius, 1, 2 centimeters, any constant radius we are taking using the point B. Just let intersect the line segment itself and uh, from through it draw constantly. Let's draw it again. Just we have taken some uh, a radius on compass, either one centimeter or two centimeters. Some radius we have taken using the point B. Using point B, let's draw an arc on AB and also outside of it and draw through it. Then after the arc where is intersecting at AB. Let's take the same radius and where that arc is intersecting at AB, let's take that point and uh, intersect the same point. Let's recall again. We have taken point B and then we drawn an arc on AB and we extended that line after where the arc is intersecting, we have taken that same point where that arc is intersecting we have taken that point and using the same radius we intersected the same arc with that, rate, with that constant radius we got this point use that point and the point what we got and that particular point and the vertex B let's join this let's join these two points we get and if this is let's think this is less the ray what we have taken then let's extend the ray so we got it's joined with the a and y ray so let's take this point as c We have taken as C and we need to draw a parallel line for BC. So let's take that scale and the root, nothing by ruler on BC. And then we have taken this ruler on BC about using the set square we are going to draw a parallel line for BC just move this towards B and after moving towards B dash and we got a point and using that point draw a line segment a draw a line segment let's recall again we have taken BC and uh, using the ruler, we have taken this ruler on BC, side BC. Using the side BC, we are drawing a parallel line using the set square. Just move this towards B dash. We got a line which is parallel to BC and uh, join this towards BY. We have joined. And uh, this is nothing but B. Sorry, we need to take some other name because we have taken only we have taken uh, uh, B there, A, B, C, and then this is let's take C dash because this is a C and C dash. So now let us observe this triangle ABC. ABC is a triangle. We are drawn. We got a triangle ABC, and uh, here three by four parts. It's divided into three by four parts. Construct triangle ABC in which AB is equals to four centimeters, BC is equals to five centimeters, AC is six centimeters, 
and construct a similar triangle to triangle ABC such that each of its sides is two third of corresponding sides of triangle ABC. Let's recall. Construct triangle ABC. Need to construct triangle ABC in which the sides are AB is four centimeters, BC is five, and AC is six centimeters. And we need to construct a similar triangle for triangle ABC. We need to construct a similar triangle for triangle ABC such that its sides, its corresponding sides, must be two third of triangle ABC. We need to find that. Let's take a compass, the ruler. Here we can observe that AB is 4, BC is 5, and AC is 6 centimeters. And this, the largest side is 6 centimeters. So let's draw 6 centimeters as a base. Let us see, this is 6 centimeters. And uh, name it as AC. AC is 6 centimeters. And then using A, let's draw 4 centimeters. 4 centimeters radius we are taking on compass. Let's see, this is 4 centimeters on the compass we have taken. 4 centimeters radius we have taken, for example. So, using 4 centimeters radius, use the 4 centimeters. This are, these are the measurements we, have, we are taking for understanding the problem. These are not actual measurements. For understanding easily, we are taking the measurements, actual measurements are in this way so that we can understand easily so we are taking the 4 centimeters on compass using vortex A using the point A let's draw a line segment 4 centimeters we are taking on compass so this is the 4 centimeters let us see and uh, using the point A make an arc using the point A and then this is B here somewhere point B will be getting because this is 4 centimeters arc we made and then using C BC we have completed 5 six, sorry AC we have completed that is 6 centimeters and uh, AB for AB 4 cm radius we have taken now BC is left with the 5 cm so let's take 5 cm radius on compass let's think this is 5 cm using 5 cm radius on compass make an arc we made an arc using 5 cm the point B point C Using point C, we have taken 5 cm radius and uh, we cut an arc which we have taken previously. Using A, we have taken one arc, we, we cut an arc and then now using 5 cm and uh, on compass and using the same using the vertex C and we made an arc and that arc is to be cut from uh, the previous arc. We can observe that and this is a point B, this is a point B, now let us observe A, B, C, we got the three points, it's nothing but a triangle, let's join this triangle, let's join these sides so that we'll be getting a triangle. Using the scale, let's join A, B. AB is joined and uh, let us join BC, B and C. 
should come on the same line. So BC is joined. We got a triangle, a triangle ABC. Triangle ABC is drawn. It's completed. Now we need to construct a similar triangle for triangle ABC. A similar triangle for this. So uh, as earlier we have constructed a similar triangle using the same concept. Let's draw an acute angle for the side AC. An acute angle for the side AC. So this is an acute angle. It's an acute angle for the side AC we have taken. So now, uh, let's name it as X here because it's an angle, acute angle is formed. Now, we need to make two thirds of the corresponding sides. It's given that it's two thirds of the corresponding sides. Let's understand two thirds. Previously, we have done the two thirds of the sides. Is nothing but here we take the total parts are three three parts we need to make let's take the three parts along it we'll take the two parts of it and join to the triangle ABC and then we'll get we'll be getting a similar triangle for it so let's take three parts let's take three parts on a two triangle which is AX, AX is an array. Take compass and uh, using the constant radius, let's use the constant radius and using the constant radius on compass and uh, on AX, AX is an array which we have drawn. So starting with A, we draw one of the arc and using the same arc, let's draw another arc using the same radius and we use the same radius and the next arc we got another arc here so we got three arcs there these are three equal parts so let's name it as A1 A2 and A3 this is a point A1 and A2 and A3 these are three equal parts we got and uh, to draw a similar triangle, let's join A3 and C. Here we have A3 and C. And uh, let's join A3 and C using the ruler. A3 and C, we are joining. And we have joined A, B, and C. Now, let's see here. We need to draw a parallel line for A, B, and C. So to draw a parallel line for it, let's say, let's take side square and the ruler. Place a ruler on the side of A, B, C. A3C is nothing but here. There is an A3C. We have placed A3C. So after that, let's take the set square on the base of the ruler. It's a little above. So where is a, it's sub, it's a, um, sufficient for us or uh, comfortable for us? We can take in the same place and uh, again we recall. Take this ruler and place it on A3C. We have placed on A3C and then this is A3C, the side A3C we have placed and then just take the base as the set square 